Let's get ready. Well, talking about Debbie Tiva today. Debbie Tua. And Debbie Tua is a pretty interesting person. Um, we're focusing this week um, on an author's purpose. How do you determine an author's purpose? How do you understand it? How do you identify it? Well, the way that you identify it is clues that the author gives us in the words. Okay? Remember, he's going to try to talk us into something, persuade us. He's going to try, <laughs> try to make us laugh, to entertain us. Or he's going to try to give us useful information to help us live better lives and uh, make things easier, help you be able to do things faster. Um, and that's why people find solutions and strategies. Uh, so the title of the story was Lighting Lives. And we read and we learned about how one person is helping people in their community. But what is something that the author brings up to show us um, that Debbie's the right person to do this? Let's take a look. I don't want, I'm going to hide my other one. It says, the clue is it tells how Debbie got the idea. How did Debbie figure out that this was a good thing and it was going to help people? Did, did, did she ever have that same thing happen to her? <laughs> yeah, she did when she was a little kid. She had no electricity. So she knows exactly how that feels. And uh, the phrase, the word sensitive means that you're able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes or know how they feel, all right? And uh, when you do that, it's really important. I mean, we read on page 216, we learned how Debbie got the idea to help others. I think that's a really good clue to tell us about the author's purpose. <clears throat> so we're going to finish reading. We'll keep adding to this clue, clue, author's purpose chart. Um, so let's think about some other things. Does the author talk about Debbie's school or how she plays sports? No. No. It does not. What is the main event that the author talks about? He's not talking about Debbie playing soccer as a kid. No, he's talking about Debbie's family and how they had no electricity and how they had to move to a place that had electricity so they could have better lives and easier lives. What does the information about Debbie's childhood have to do with the rest of the story? I mean, we're talking about how she's helping people now. Why do we want to know where she came from? Well, Debbie helps families to get electricity just like her family did. So she knows how they feel. That's really important. Because she knows how they feel, it makes her want to help more. Because she's like, oh, I remember how that felt, and it was not a good feeling. I want to help them feel awesome like I did when I got electricity. And I'm going to help them do that. There's something else that's really important an author does, all right? And watch out for this. He's going to put things called photos or captions. You know what a photo is. Click. It's a picture. It's a photograph. A real thing. Not a cartoon. A real photograph. And a photograph shows... A photo shows something in the text, and they give more information about a topic. Now, if you remember, there was a picture of Debbie, who was young, sitting with uh, a hoppy, um, the Native American Indian, and she had a very big smile on her face. So that's really important. So she's helping people, and people want her help, okay? If she was like, mm, then maybe she doesn't want Debbie there. I'd be like, get out of here, Debbie. But they want her there because she's going to give them electricity. And, or not give it to them, but show them how to go about doing it. Um, and then sometimes at the bottom of the photograph or at the top, you'll see a couple words. And those are important to read because those really help the reader get his point across. Um, captions give information about what the picture's about. And it says, Debbie helps many hoppy people. Okay? And that is a tribe a Native American tribe. So it's a big group of people that live in a village or some type of community together. Um, let's continue on. And I want to talk a little bit closer about... I, I want to talk a little bit closer about rereading the sections that help us answer the questions. Okay? Oh, okay, good. So th listen to this one section. Debbie believes deeply in her work. She knows she's doing the right thing. She insists, like, you better. She insists that families learn how solar power can help them. 
Like she's like, you gotta listen to me. She's insisting. Um, they are happy to do not what she says, but what she demands. Demand is is like, you need to go make a peanut butter and jelly for yourself for dinner tonight. I never said to my kids. Anyway, um, you demand someone. Usually people aren't very like, oh, you're demanding, you're shouting at me, you tell me. They're, they're like, oh, no, no, tell me. What do I need to do? I'll do everything. So they have open ears. They want to listen to all these tricks and all these things that can help them on the road to getting electricity. So if you think about those words, she insists, and they're happy to do it. She demands. And, I mean, she's asking for something in a really strong way, and they're accepting that and, and going ahead with it. So... How do you feel about this? Because when an author has a purpose, he wants the reader to have a feeling about it, okay? Um, do you feel like you'd like to have a job like Debbie's and help people have better lives? Um, do you think that you'd like to travel? Maybe you might want to do what Debbie's doing um, right now. And uh, you get to meet many different people and families in Arizona, New Mexico, and someday you could probably have a helpful job just like Debbie um, and I think that would make you feel really powerful a lot of jobs help people so I just want to recap what we went through here okay so clue a was that it t the author tells how Debbie has the idea um, whoa I didn't have electric before but now I do and I know just what I got to do to get electric for these people to help them this whole village could really use my help. Some people just be like, eh, I'm tired. I think I'm just going to go home, go to bed. Eh, I'll help them tomorrow, maybe, if I feel like it. But that's not really thinking about other people. She's like, oh, no, I'm going there. Even though if I feel lonely because I'm all by myself, I'm going to go there because I know how good it feels to get electric, and I want them to feel just as good as I did. All right, so clue one. He tells how Debbie got the idea. Here's another really important clue, okay? She helps families just like she was helped, okay? Her family helps other families, when she was little, get electric. So now she's older and she wants to do the same thing. She wants to be helpful. She wants to help people have these awesome lives. So why did the author write this story? Let's get down to it. See, they're gonna make us laugh. I'm not laughing about these homes. I'm not laughing about lighting lives. The, the, the title's not funny. Um, if I was watching The Incredibles, I think that's pretty funny stuff. If I was reading a joke book, that author wants me to laugh. This isn't making me laugh. So it's, the author's purpose is not to entertain. We're not, um, there's no action, okay? Is the author trying to persuade us? Like, you need to go help people get electric now. Get out there, make signs. No, he's not. He's not telling us that um, we need to talk other people into get, rallying people together to get elected. I mean, yeah, we should be smart about it and be considerate with our neighbors, and we should shut lights off when we're not using them. Um, but he's not persuading us. He's not trying to talk us into being electric workers. He's giving us information, okay? This author is giving us so much information, and we, in the author's purpose, I'm calling to inform, all right? So it talks. the author tells us first about how Debbie got the idea. She was once there. She once had no electric, and it wasn't a great feeling. Then another clue is that Debbie helps families like her family did when she was younger. She saw all the great stuff and all the people feeling all that good feels, that good vibes, and the just really, holy cow, thanks. Uh, and she wanted to be the person to, to help others, so she did. She became um, involved. She became um, friendly with people and talked to different people in different places in different states and said, hey, how you doing? Listen, I don't want your money, but I just want to let you know I have an idea that can help you get electric. Are you interested? What do you think these people would say? Be like, no, we'll keep lighting candles and we like reading in the dark. No, they're going to say, oh, yeah, tell us. What do we need to do? Anything. Please. We need electricity in our lives. They might have lived life and accepted it. But if they're able to introduce electricity power, electric power in their lives, it can make their, their everyday life easier. All right? Like you can hook up a slice of pizza. Bang. Really, really quickly. One minute. That pizza's hot. 
Um, it's a lot different. It takes about an hour to start a fire and to cook on it. So, all right, everybody. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And uh, it's only a four-day week. Not so bad this week. All right. See you next time. Adios.